Hey guys, today is Friday, September 29th, 2017. It's time for Bipolar Opposites. My name is Timothy Andrew Antonio Cubbin, and I, well, I'm going to talk to you about something that happened today. Alright, obviously, since most of you know, obviously, please tell you all know this, that I have bipolar disorder, and I am on a shitload of medications. So today, as long as I have to see, sometimes I make each of dizziness and balance and everything. So I'm walking by, all of a sudden, boom, I go down. Hit my head on the table. And snapped, snapped that open. Snapped my head open. I felt this floor head, and I have all the things in my mouth. It was just, I was down. I couldn't do anything. I was just bleeding out. So, Finally, I managed to pull myself up to uh, into a crawling position. I crawled the entire length of the house to get to the table where the paper towels were. Maybe it's not fun or easy. So, you know, I just managed. I got the phone after getting the paper towels, and I had to crawl for that too, crawl all the way to my room from the living room, which I guess wasn't that far, but the office. It's, uh,. So I tried to call there, but I couldn't make it, so I stopped and reached for the phone. And I went to pick up the phone, I couldn't remember my mom's number. Because you know things when you're in a crisis, you can't think, especially when you got your head popped open. So, I was trying to go with the phone number. Trying to phone with the, uh, the wrong phone number. My problem? I was using one set of numbers. So one, three sets of area codes, which were not the same. So, by using the two different things, I got two different numbers. So, I did not get help until my mom came home. And she saw this, this brutal cut. And she really said that I need to go to the emergency room. Now, me, I don't like emergency rooms. I don't think anyone does, not even doctors. So, finally, I was yelling, he said, It's gonna call her, like this scar. Well, she said I don't need another one like that, so I eventually gave in so we can go to uh to the emergency room. So I got to the emergency room and everything was just going so bad. And I just, I had cloth over my face and it was just really, really bad. I had to wait for like twenty minutes before they came and took me in. And they um they did a CAT scan on me, which let me tell you, the past few months I've noticed I'm getting more and more unsteady. So, they said while I was there that they wanted to do a CAT scan to make sure it was alright in my head. I'm like, woohoo! Finally proof of what's going on in my head! So they did the uh, CAT scan, and I believe it popped up. Nothing. Nothing popped up. There's nothing wrong with my brain, no blood, nothing. Absolutely perfect. So, I got on, I got stitches. Ugh, how I hate stitches. That needle, damn, oh my god, that was so huge, like crazy, crazy, crazy. And then when they did the stitches, well, I got nine stitches. Holy shit, nine stitches, like seriously, seriously, that's a lot of stitches. Well, what can you do? I'm me and that's it. Everything is wrong with me. As you probably noticed in the past episode, or a little before, where I talked about, why is it always me? So, my luck, it's always me. Winds up face first on furniture. So, you know, it was what it is. As one of my interviewers interviews actually came up with, you'll probably see it later on in the season, so be on the lookout. But, you know, till then, I just have to say Tim Coven, out.